Well, we all know Pensacola has a very rich history from the earliest settlement in the Spanish period to World War II. Well, a local man got a glimpse of what life was actually like more than 500 years ago. He found artifacts while camping at Fort Pickens. Now, WEAR's Karis Harmon joins us. And Karis, the man actually showed you where he made that discovery. Yeah, he did, Sue. And as soon as he found those artifacts, he says he was told they had to be reburied because it's against the law to remove artifacts from federal land. We have everything from the first Spanish period here in Florida all the way through the Civil War, World War One, World War II batteries. Over the weekend, Ryan Smith was taking a stroll through the Fort Pickens campgrounds when he discovered this. It's pieces of Spanish pottery from more than 500 years ago. So this is the spot. We stopped to sit on this bench. It looks like the spot to find something, doesn't it? And, uh... That pottery was just, it stuck out like a sore thumb on top of all these shells. After Smith found the pieces of pottery, he notified a park ranger. I thought they would go put it in a museum or something. But instead of putting the artifacts in a museum, Smith says they were reburied. Gulf Island National Seashore archaeologist Michael Lockman says there's a reason for that. So by returning it to the site and putting it underground, we're creating a situation where Future visitors aren't going to walk away with a piece of uh, American history, which uh, is protected by federal regulations. Lockman says the pottery was a generic Spanish olive jar used by people dating back to the 1500s to hold things like olive oil. That's the most common type that we find on these sites. Yeah. Um, and there's different styles that date them to different periods. Preserving the land is the goal. Plus, removing archaeological artifacts from federal land is illegal, he says. We do have items in our museum collection. Uh, most of the items in the museum collection are not available for public viewing, but they are available to researchers. He says a reason why the pieces discovered by Smith were buried is because it's a piece that could be redundant with what they already have in their collection. Simply to reduce the amount of effort that it takes to conserve all these items. It's better to conserve the sites as they are and not introduce any ground disturbance and bring new things into the collections if we don't need to. Pensacola is getting cooler every day. Smith says he wonders what other artifacts lie below the soil. I think the artifacts in Florida should be shared. I don't think there should be taboo on them. I think if you find something, there ought to be like some online platform where everybody can upload a photo. But the world's changing. They need to change that too. Lachlan says if you stumble upon what you think could be an artifact at the park, take a picture of it, leave it where it is, and talk to someone who works at the park so it can be properly evaluated. In the studio, Karis Harmon, WEAR News.